Hey everybody, what's up? This is Sharif at SharifJackson.com. Just wanted to do a quick overview of the multitasking on Windows 8 Consumer Preview, um, which was just released. Um, so let's start by going into my email here on their email client. Upper left side, I'll click on that. I get a really nice view here. Um, I get all my folders on the left side. These are all my folders as imported from Gmail. Um, and I can do all the reply, forward, delete, all that stuff and it syncs. Um, one thing I can't do is I can't flag or star a message so this is really going to limit this for me. Um, I'm assuming that in the final version that they'll give you that option since like, a lot of people do use Gmail. Um, and the cool thing is if you have any Hotmail accounts or like a whatever that can also be in integrated into this. I, I have one but I don't really use it. Um, as a matter of fact if I right click which is sort of the default to bring up all the options here on the bottom and I go to accounts I can switch to my Hotmail account, but as you can see, I only have the one sort of intro message here. Um, now, we're we'll multitasking. So let's say I want to go to another app that I have open. Upper left side of the screen is where I bring, bring my mouse. That shows sort of a preview of that app. If I click on it, it's going to bring me to the USA Today app, which I previously had open, so I can sort of scroll through all the, all the stories and that kind of stuff. And if I see one that's cool, I can click on it. And it gives me a really nice big picture here, as well as the story, which I can scroll to the right and uh, read. Now, um, if, if I wanted to see all the apps th that are actually open, I scroll to the left, and then I move down, and that shows me all those apps. So I can go to my finance app, or I can go to uh, my uh, LA Times app, um, which is another news app that I have. Um, in addition, if you go all the way down to the bottom, that brings you to the Start menu, which you can also go to by clicking on the Home key. And you can also right-click on anything that appears here and either close it, or, or, you, or you can pin it on the side. So, like, for example, if, if like, I wanted to continue to read, um, you know, if, if, if I was in the Finance app and, 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 and I wanted to snap to the right my weather... I can leave that there, and then anytime I am in a, a different app, um, that is going to stay there on the uh, right side, which is pretty cool because like you can do the uh, same thing with like news stories and uh, things like that. So, also if if I go to, to the lower right hand side, that's going to bring up all all like the the uh, settings, start menu, search, and the share button, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, as of now, it's not really functional, but I imagine that they're going to have Twitter, Facebook, and all that stuff in, in here. So it's system-level sharing, which means that every app isn't going to have sort of a different way to um, share things, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so that's a quick overview of some of the apps and the multitasking. Once again, Sharif at SharifJackson.com. Thank you.